James Gandolfini said that he was often contacted by real-life wise guys, complimenting him on the authenticity of the series, as well as giving him advice. It is said that during some scenes James Gandolfini inserted a small stone in his shoe to anger him, making him play the role of Tony Soprano more authentically. He would also stay awake all night for some of the breakfast scenes to achieve a tired look. To settle salary disputes after season 4, James Gandolfini gave each main cast member $33,333 from his own pocket. Lorraine Bracco was originally asked to play the role of Carmela Soprano, but she felt that the part was too similar to her character in Goodfellas. Ray Liotta was a top choice to play Tony Soprano, but he turned it down stating he did not want to commit to a television series. Later Liotta was in talks to play Ralph Cifaretto, but ended up not taking the part. The opening credits of the first three seasons are notable for one significant difference from the rest of the season's sequences. There is a shot in which the World Trade Center is visible in Tony Soprano's passenger side mirror, which was for obvious reasons removed after 9-11. Drea De Matteo had to spend four hours in hair and makeup before shooting each episode in order to achieve her mob girl look. It took two hours to prepare her hair. David Chase had to CGI Nancy Marchand's face onto a body double after she died at the start of season three. The large mugshot on the wall of the Bada Bing's office is of 23-year-old Frank Sinatra. In 1938, Sinatra was arrested and charged with seduction of a married woman. In the second season, the F-word is said 715 times. 